You picked a bad time to visit the lost knife mine, stranger. Oh no. I hoped Carrick made it to Fort Hamel. Orkthane Fieldgore's troops have taken over the mine. Half of us were sent to work in the mine and serve as hostages. The other half wait out here and worry. My family's in there right now! We need weapons. Overpower some of the soldiers, grab their weapons, and give them to my husband, Jormund. He's somewhere in the mine. Also, set a few miners free along the way. Look for my siblings, Treedy and the Drek. I need to know they're safe. My wife toils away in the mine while I stand here and wait for my stew to boil. What a life. I feel so helpless. I wish there was something I could do that wouldn't just make the Stormfists angry. Did my sister Eitaki sent you? Good to know. We've been doing what we can to confuse and delay them. Jormund has been sneaking around, passing along information. Sometimes he's even in disguise. These thugs are easy to fool, but they're scary when they get angry. Thanks for the help. See you outside. I love mead. I love Voria mead. Well, really, I love any mead. I'm not that particular. Turn up. Thank you. I saw you take out some of those bastards. I 
can only mean we're taking back the mine. Best news I've heard since this started. You need to find my sister's husband, Yomond. He's up ahead, sneaking around in disguise and causing all kinds of trouble for the Stormfists. He needs to know what's going on. I'll go help the others. Get her! Much appreciated. Over here! Keep your voice down. I am. Saw you helping some of the others. I've been sneaking around, sabotaging what I can. Sometimes I pretend to work. Sometimes I wear their armor and go where I want. They don't really pay that much attention. Did my wife, Eitaki, send you? Excellent. We're strong and we're determined. With weapons, we can rout Filgor's troops. Their leader, Magister Ozan has been investigating the deeper chambers, and that worries me. The mine is as good as ours again. Thanks to you. I could use your help against the Stormfest leader, though. Magister Ozan. She searches the deeper chambers. We broke into an ice cave and found an ore we had never seen. It seems to have magical properties. Before we could determine anything else, these thugs arrived. We hid the sample in our research notes, but I think the Magister is suspicious. She's looking for something back there. I'd like you to retrieve the research notes and the ore sample. We were in a rush, so we hid our notes in an urn on the scaffolding in the next chamber. We left an ore sample in there too, but there's a chance Ozan found it. You could disguise yourself and grab the notes. Crates of uniforms are scattered throughout the mine. There's a crate right there. Just be careful. They don't notice you if you walk around like you own the place. But Ozan's guards might be more alert than the average Stormfist thug. want them to hurt my husband, Ogman. If they see us talking, they're liable to kill him.
Over here, friend. How did you fare? That's good news. While you were doing that, my miners drove off most of the Orc Thane's troops. Milk drinkers, every last one of them, will clean out the stragglers. I have one more favor to ask of you. That chamber, the one where we found the mysterious metal, we left some of the ore in there. But the trolls, they seem attracted to the stuff. They won't let us near it. Deal with the trolls and recover the rest of the ore. I will meet you outside. Thanks to you, the mine is ours again. Thanks. I'm grateful that the mine is once again safely under our control. I sure would like to learn more about this mysterious metal, though. I'm almost sorry we discovered that mysterious metal. I don't know what to do with it, but I don't want King Joran's enemies to have it either. A friend of mine at Fort Amol might be able to tell us more about the metal. That would be extremely helpful. The Argonian, Alito, is an alchemist. She tinkers with metals and crystals and dabbles in all kinds of magic. She'd be able to identify the metal. You can find her in the alchemist shop in Fort Amol. Thank you for helping us. spoke to my wife. She's a spitfire, let me tell you. She said hello, gave me a hug, and went right back to work. I never saw the Orc Thane's followers move so fast. They ran out of here crying like little babies. Happy that the mine is back under our control, but I can't shake this bad feeling I have. I am 
I overheard Magister Ozan say she sent word to the Orc Thane about an unusual discovery. After I told Tridi what I heard, she decided to scout the area. We don't want any more surprises. I hope not, but who can say? Could you watch for any of Fildgore's soldiers? A courier, maybe? We don't want word about that mysterious metal reaching the wrong ears.
You found the messenger. Was she carrying Osan's letter? What did you find when you took down the messenger? I'll take that and burn it. We've had enough trouble with Vildgore and his followers to last a lifetime. Thanks for intercepting this. I think we'll be fine. Maybe we'll be a little more diligent about guard duty. We don't want to get caught unawares again. Thanks for all your help. I'll make sure this litter is destroyed. you want? Unusual. How unusual? Is it stone? Metal? Crystal? The suspense is killing me. Actually, no. The suspense is rather mild, and I'm already bored. People always want me to examine this or study that, like I don't have enough to do. Clothes. Attracts trolls. Well, let me see it then. This might be more interesting than I originally thought. Don't rush me. Better yet, make yourself useful. Bring me the Varla Stone Tincture from over there, and be careful with it. It is rare and rather unstable. not for the faint of heart. I told you it was unstable. I'm sure the feeling will return to your fingers, eventually. I need one more thing. Oval's study of metallurgic anomalies. I was reading it by the river while I was getting some sun. I think I left it out there. Analysis takes time. Proper procedure must be followed, and careful study can't be rushed. And sometimes I perform random experiments just to see what happens. Now hurry, I need to check Ovald's notes. I think he mentioned this ore. been. Something gnawed on the cover. Ah, well. The uninitiated are always hungry for knowledge. Let me see what Ovald has to say about this medal. Nonsense. 
Careful attention to detail and advanced preparation always results in stable, safe experiments. Now, let's test this mysterious ore. Interesting. Very interesting. I remember reading something. A reference. Let me just add a pinch of purified frost salt and see what happens. That was exciting. Hardly a scratch. I still don't have any idea what to make of this ore, but the residual dust could be useful. I'll go up to the mine and talk to Yeomond. I need more samples. This dust may be valuable, even if I don't fully understand it yet. You again? Got something interesting for me? Well met, friend. Are you interested in the study of alchemy? Stormfist and the Orc allies are starting to get on my nerves. They better give us the order to attack soon, or I might have to deal with the situation in my own way. Such talk makes me wonder what you say about me when my back is turned. No Have you returned with the wayward relic? Merciful divines, it's so horrid in person. To think this can drive a person to euphoric heights or wretched depths, depending on which face is worn. You may want to wash your hands, perhaps visit a temple. The Order thanks you for your assistance, Adept. There may be more relics you can recover for us soon enough. Check with me tomorrow. I may have something for you. The Order of the Eye works within the Mages Guild to research unexpected effects of the Plane Meld. The borders of Tamriel and Oblivion continue to blur. For example, relics appear where they should not, especially those of the Mad God. We don't know. That's why we're recovering as many of the Mad God's relics as we can. Should we learn nothing, we still protect people from Sheogorath's influence.
Welcome, friend. today. Our ranks have swelled in recent months, and our coffers are overflowing with jewels and gold. We want to see the spoils go to the best among us. It's a verbal handshake. Uh, you know what? Go talk to Glirian the Redbeard. He'll tell you everything you need to know. Glirian's a good sort. Just not too friendly. Doesn't show any emotions, really. Is bloodthirst an emotion? Eh, never mind. Oh, the usual. Mother robbed tombs for decades in the dunes of Alakir. She raised me on her hip and forced me to join the Undaunted with her. It's the sort of thing every daughter has to deal with. Oh yes, she's a proud member. Goes by the name Hel Ralala. Just don't, you know, talk to her. She's a mean old bird. A funny story. When she was young, some thick skull heard her name and had trouble pronouncing it. Her real name is Hel Alraga, just like me. But Ralala stuck, and she's been using it for 30 years. Why do you idle, undaunted? Go jump into a cave, fight a Daedra or something. Seems to be no shortage of those these days. Like most things, they'll stop moving when you strike their necks. The ones that have necks. There's plenty, if you know where to look. At the base of the mighty tree in Gratwood lies a burial ground once used by centaurs and minotaurs. The locals call it Elden Hollow, and I've heard a Dominion cannon reef passed through there recently. Could be. Could be the cannon reef was just passing through. But what does a politician want with an ancient graveyard? You should pay a visit either way. What's better than leaping headfirst into a Minotaur burial site, huh? Nothing about you says risk or challenge. And especially not punch a troll in the face while wearing a crown made from your own trousers. If you care to prove me wrong, I can introduce you to my two best friends, Gold and Bragging Rights. There's a place called the Corpse Garden, which... Look, I don't name these things. Local bumpkins hear noises in old tombs and give them flowery labels. This time, the bumpkins are right. The Corpse Garden is actually full of angry spirits. Take these ancestor wards and place them around the tomb. It should confuse the spirits and prevent them from trying to leave. Oh, find the toughest spirit and smash it to powder. Or goop, preferably while the others are watching. Is there something I can do for you, Undaunted? Marja, Ergalag, and I have been selected to curate a challenge for our fellows. We will be sending Undaunted into the depths of Tamriel in search of treasure and glory. The difference is the reward. Every day, we three decide on specific dungeons the crew will explore. Steadfast, like yourself, can take a pledge to see the job done. Madge's demeanor best suits the new blood. I understand the fragility of life, 
I will not sugarcoat the tasks I give our more seasoned cohorts. And a Garlog will simply choose based on her desire to break you or take you. The result is the same. You earn keys, which you can turn into us to gain gear we keep on hand. Harder challenges result in more keys and more opportunities to fill your pockets. Very good. Then make your introduction to Agarlock Chiefbane if you value your ability to chew. She would not take being snubbed lightly. Make your introduction to Agarlock brief. Sparking her ire or her interest could be detrimental to your health. The Undaunted have grown in number of late. Stalwarts like you have done too much, hauling precious treasures from the dark places in the world. The crew did not form so that we could own manors or barter for a seat on the Imperial Council. We formed to explore, to have fun. Why not share in our bounty, in our good fortune? It was my idea. Many of our cohorts are drunken thrill-seekers. That's not how I see life. Thus, the pledge. A pledge to explore the deep places in the world. I'd prefer it. <clears throat> I pledge to explore, state the name of the dungeon here, and return undaunted. Simple, I think. Noble. Ah, uh, yes. My background is somewhat different than other members of the crew. In years past, I was a Vinedusk Ranger. I served in the conflict that split Valenwood asunder. Yes, I did things, things I will not speak of. Today, every gasp of breath is precious to me. The sight of your pulse on your neck cheers me. As I said, life itself thrills me. To enter a crypt, end the undead, to face down a construct twice my height and tell the tale, truly, that is to be alive. To be undaunted. A talker or a gawker? Might earn a busted lip either way. Hmm. Guess I'll leave your face as it is then. Can't make any promises about that in the future. That's not always a threat. Faces are good for more than punching on rare occasion. I suppose I'll be getting used to seeing yours around. Or not. Could get it mauled off on your first pledge. Break hearts, break faces, break anything I feel like, really. And when the mood strikes, I assign pledges. Undaunted who want to be among the first to see a newly discovered dungeon go through me. Even we haven't seen everything Nern has to offer. Some Undaunted sponsor expeditions to find new challenges to overcome. That earns them the privilege of taking the first crack. You stake a claim on some new dungeons, I'll offer you pledges for it. Good. Tell Maj I said to give you a key. Maybe that'll help you keep that face long enough for me to get to know it. Go on. Finish your business with Maj. Then you can try to impress me. Let's say I don't bow to tradition, especially concerning romance. Someone catches my eye, I'll win their heart. Bloodied my blade on dozens of jealous lovers. Not to mention preachy types who can't mind their own business. In the old clans? Yeah. When Orsimer disapprove of your behavior, blades do the talking. I'm very opinionated. Hey there, scrub. You'd best stay back. We are speaking of blood and glory. For we are undaunted. 
Did she now? She must like you. In that case, you're going to need all the help you can get. Take your key and come back when you're ready to take the pledge. I can't wait to see what you're made of. Kale Stig the Axe is one of our bravest members. And you can take him down a peg if you take the Undaunted Pledge. Fungal Grotto. A dark elf spider cult found some Daedric Shrine in its depths and made themselves at home. It'll take fire and steel to clear them out of there now. Not afraid of a few extra legs, are you? Their leader, Violet Theron, is a nasty piece of work. If you can best her dark magic without cowering behind the protections of the Obsidian Husk, you'll truly be undaunted. That musty grotto attracts all manner of vermin. Look on the bright side. Maybe those evil cultists cleaned out the goblin filth. You have Are to you help lost, me. friend? Please help me. I pushed her down, and now she's gone. It was the only way I could get away from those horrible monsters. We were on our way back to Windhelm. We decided to take a shortcut, and those monsters surrounded us. I've never seen anything like them before. They were everywhere, all around us. There were so many of them. I... By the three! Look out! I need to go. I need to get out of here. Those things are everywhere. Please, my friend may still be alive. If you see her, you need to save her. We were near the center of the hot springs when we were attacked. I... I pushed him head down. It was the only thing I could do to get away. I wasn't thinking. I never meant to hurt her. Please, find Imhe. I need to go.
Stay away from me, you monster. Damn it, woman. You need to come with me now. The sun hurts me more than you know. We need to get inside. Scales here is about to have a really bad day if she doesn't come with me right now. That bite, it's spreading faster than she realizes. These creatures are the twisted offspring of a vampire and their bite is just as dangerous. Once bitten, the curse seeps into your body. It gets into your blood until the fever takes you. Then the craving comes over you. The craving for blood. There may be a way. I need to get her back to my manor, though. If she stays out here too long, the sun will find her. Then she'll experience a pain like she has never felt before. Right now, she just needs to shut up and listen to me. I'm just like the creatures that attacked her, except my mind is my own and I'm a little more sensitive to sunlight. Now, before you do something we'll both regret, hear me out. If I'm going to save Scales, I'm going to need your help. I need blood fiend dust. You can get it from the creatures that bit her. Then maybe we can reverse the effects and save Scales here. I'll keep her safe in the meantime. If you can get that dust, bring it to my manor. The cursed blood of my family does indeed run through my veins. I'm not ashamed of it. What I am ashamed of is what my people do with this power. I believe that I can trust you. If you help me with something, I'll do whatever you ask as long as it doesn't involve hurting anyone. Time to go, Scales. We need to make sure you don't turn into one of these creatures. What are you doing? No, don't let him take me. Big man said you'd be showing up soon. He's upstairs with the lizard girl. Scales tried to escape, so we locked her up. Nothing to worry about. Just want to make sure everyone stays safe. It won't be long before she gets that crazed look in her eyes, though. You saw those things out there. They're mindless monsters, as ugly as they are evil, and only interested in killing and feasting. Do you really want Scales out there attacking people? No? That's why I put her in a cage. There's a chance, but it's just that, a chance. There's no guarantee she'll survive the process. I've seen it kill as often as it cures. It's a risk, but the alternative is far, far worse. Very well. If it guarantees your assistance, I'll set him. Scales tried to escape. You saw there's a chance. I swear by the blood of my clan and my clanmates, I only want to help her. She's safe here. I'll protect her for as long as she remains with us. And if the cure fails, I'll teach her to control her urges. You've made the right decision. I promise I'll do everything in my power to help her. 
we'll watch over her. If she doesn't improve, we'll make sure she doesn't succumb to the bloodlust. Believe me, you won't regret this. Poor Scales burns with the blood fever. She'll be trying to eat every face she sees soon enough. Who would wish that fate upon her? Well, I suppose my father would, but you'll learn more about him shortly. I promise we'll look after Scales. We'll make sure that she's safe and that she doesn't hurt anyone. Now, I need your help. You saw for yourself. Vampire abominations prowl the springs. Those are my father's toys, sick creations of his evil mind. We've all been infected, cursed, plagued. Call it what you will, we're vampires. But we don't have to succumb to the curse's savage nature. My father thinks otherwise. He believes we should embrace the bloodlust, the power, taking those who can't oppose us and making them our own. A civil war rages through East March. He feels the time is right to strike. He wants to grow an army of undead before anyone notices. My father must be stopped at all costs. He's already targeted the Winterland Hunters. He's about to turn them into his puppets. Joruk downstairs can tell you how to save them. That's our first step. This world is a deadly place when the sun glows bright in the sky. It's just too dangerous outside. Even the wounds I recently suffered require time and a great deal of blood to overcome. Imagine the cost of trying to deal with all those hunters. I must say you are a strange one. Others would have drawn weapons the moment they saw what I was. Anyway, I could attempt to scare them away, but they're hunters. I don't suspect they scare very easily. We turn my father into dust, and end his tyranny once and for all. The hunters are merely a distraction. If we deny him their blood, he'll grow curious, perhaps even vulnerable. He'll want to know who interfered with his plans. Let me out of here, please. This isn't right. You're killing me. You gave me to these creatures, and they're going to use me as food. Why would you do such a thing? Of course not. Who harms their dinner before they feast? I'm sure they're going to be very good to me. At least until supper time. I'm tired of being stuck in here all day long. Such a shame. When we walk in the beautiful sunlight, we burst into flames. Though I suppose it does make taking a stroll more exciting. Just because I'm not attempting to rip you open and feast on your blood, doesn't mean that I'm not thinking about it. It's our nature to lust for the life within you. Luckily for you, Valeric has taught us to control our hunger. Valeric believes that this power is a curse, not a gift. The temptation of blood must be controlled at all costs, he tells us. We were not meant to feed upon one another. He teaches us to survive, but not to lose control. His father belongs to the Volkihar clan, tyrants known for their cruelty and lust for blood. They embrace their power and believe themselves to be greater than mere mortals. As you can guess, Valeric opposes this line of thinking. Valeric's father believes that a war is coming and he wants to take advantage of that. So he's building an army. You can see his spawn all around the hot springs. And he continues to try to convince Valeric to join him, of course. I hope Valeric didn't convince you to join our cause. Our battles never end well. True, his father's a bastard, but he's a strong bastard. Valeric can't beat him, and those who help us usually die. But enough depressing talk. How can Jeruk help you? Ah, yes, many times. Each time, things have gone horribly wrong. It usually ends up very messy. Lots of blood. 
But don't worry about it. Everything will be different this time. Yes, yes, Jaruk always has a plan. The blood fiends hunt by scent. They have the hunter's scent and await the command to strike. If we mask the scent, the blood fiends will lose interest and wander off. The hunters will be saved. Take this liquid. It is a gift from Jaruk's close friends, Cello and Harp. Don't ask what it is you don't want to know. Splash it on the hunters. Make them smell like something the blood fiends won't want to eat. Oh, they'll hate it. They'll probably try to kill you. It's best if you rough them up a bit first. Show them who's stronger. Then splash it in their faces. As long as they end up very smelly, the hunters should be safe. 